this particular point in the uh, development of the PFEMA form, uh, what I've done is I've actually created all of my drop downs. You can see them here. So go through here. And I've also put in all my formulations. So you can see over here, if I go to, for instance, my conditional formatting, and I go to my manage rules, I've already got the rules defined in here. So what I've done is I've created all of the uh, uh, formulas, relationships, and so forth that I want to use. Back over here to the RPN, you can see the conditional formatting I've got set here for different cases. You can see it's referring to the uh, like cell B9 here, for instance. And B9 is over here is the default action for the RPN. So you can see I'm using uh, these uh, conditional formatting rules here. So I've got them uh, loaded here and I've tested everything all the way out here in my sheet. And now I have to make sure that that's available to every row that I might use. So before you um, actually put in your links to Timer Pro, which is going to be done over here, I recommend that you leave those blank and just copy this. You can copy this and just run it all the way down the page. So as many rows as you think you might want. So here's like 470 odd. And I just do a right button and do a paste. Now what that does, that guarantees that you have the same formatting throughout your sheet here. So no matter what row you're going to work with, it will have all the drop downs available for you right here. And you can see the formulas and everything are also preserved over here. If I go to my conditional formatting, first of all, you can see it in the, in the, uh, the formula bar there. And also here's your rules here. So before you put in your information to do with the Timer Pro links, copy the formulas and all the drop downs all the way down here. And so now we have to enter our Timer Pro data. So we go over to column A, go to cell A13, and just double click on it right there and it will pop up the descriptions. So here we want our descriptive. We want our video link. This is all the data we have available to us. We want our value added, non-value added. We want our time. And we want our ergonomic risk here. So we're going to put the ergonomics here. And then when we've done here, we just click on the save. And that will create the file, the control file, that will allow it to work correctly pass it over into uh, Timer Pro.